I am over at the other desk. And how is it that you can still hear me? Because the wonders of technology means that I can bring the microphone via a cord all the way over to this other desk. Hello, I am Kelsey D. I make comics and today I am showcasing everything, literally everything, that is available in the spring cleaning sale. The spring cleaning sale is happening over on crowdfunder.com slash spring cleaning. Until May 6th, we have a ton of original art, comics, and keychains and pins and a whole bunch of other stuff. So we're just going to get right into it. Don't worry if you missed the live stream version. This will be available as a replay shortly after we are live. If you have any questions about anything, feel free to leave comments down below. So to work through this, we are going to start with the high-end ticket items first, and then we are going to work our way down until we get to the budget-friendly stuff. With that, let us jump into, excuse me, while I move some piles, because there's a lot of piles of stuff. <laughs> So, I'm really excited about these here. These are the original, original first 69 pages of The Legend of Jamie Roberts. The first 69 pages of this comic were drawn by hand, but then colored and lettered digitally in Clip Studio Paint. Uh, this bundle here is actually trying to remember which chapter this is. This is chapter two. Uh, no, chapter three. Th this is uh, page pages like 54 to 69. The first bundle of pages are actually in a binder, much like this one. Whoops, forgot there was stuff in that binder. Um, we'll get that, but the desk can only handle so much weight. <laughs> Uh, because these papers can be a little bit on the heavy side when they're stacked together like this. These are 11 by 17 inches. When you order one of these, it will be shipped flat in a bag. Uh, and it'll be like reinforced with the padding and everything. But these pages are $100 each, but shipping is free to make up for the fact that they are $100 a piece because these are the originals. These are not prints, these are the originals. And there's a big old stack of these. Coming closer so you can see some of the finer details of some of these. Da, 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 da. Yeah, okay. Now if we can get the camera angle just right. Got some line work here. Here we go. So yeah, these are the first 69 pages, nice, of The Legend of Jamie Roberts, and these are available at $100 a piece. Shipping is free. They will be shipped flat, bagged and boarded, much like other, the other original art that is available for sale. Uh, these are 11 by 17, so they should be reasonably easy to frame. That is threatening to fall off. There we go. <laughs> this is live, y'all. Okay. We'll take care of that later. So. Those were the Legend of Jamie Roberts pages. Now, there are other larger pages. So let's get into those. Set these prints aside for a second so that we can show off. Oh, gosh. Oh! This entire binder has all 65 pages plus the cover art for the case of the Wendigo. Now I did have to bag these so that the first like bundle of pages has like two pages in each slip. But as you can see, it is the originals. This was mixed. This was like a mixed media kind of a thing where it was like penciled, inked and partly colored traditionally, and then the rest was done digitally. So these are the originals for the case of the Wendigo. These are also 11 by 17. These were rendered with uh, fine line markers and Copic markers. And it's the first 65 pages 
Now, I will let you know, full disclosure, that page 64 has been sold. Thank you, Jessica, for buying page 64. I will point that out as soon as I flip to it. Um, but all the rest of the pages are available and for sale. So I will let you know now, though, that once these pages sell, they are gone forever. Uh, just like the Legend of Jamie Roberts, these will ship flat in a bag and board, like all other original art. This is the one that sold. Everything else is available. So be sure to check that out. Uh, if you would like more context for The Case of the Wendigo, you can read it at thecaseofthewendigo.com or charlieandcloud.com. So that's those pages. We'll get to the prints later. We also have some original pages from Charlie and Clow, which is the prequel story to The Case of the Wendigo. Now, the tricky bit with this is I only have pages number 13, 15, 18, and 19. I don't entirely know where the rest went. For context, I have moved twice in the last four years. One of those moves was across the state. E Sorry, but we have these four pages available from the original Charlie and Clow. These are going to be 90 each, if I remember the pricing correctly, but these will be shipped, bagged, and boarded, just like these guys, but we'll get to that in a minute. Um, these ones are 9 by 12, if I remember the measurements correctly. I will double check those measurements and update the listings as needed. But yes, we have these four pages of the original Charlie and Clow available. We also have the original Roxy comic strips. Um, Roxy was done in a hybrid style, much like the case of the Wendigo was. A lot of my comics were done in this hybrid style. So it would be penciled, inked, and partially colored traditionally, and then the rest was done digitally. So we have the entirety of the Roxy comics available for sale. We also have uh, the Roxy book available for sale, but we'll get to that when we get to that. But the originals are all here and they are all for sale. These ones are, I'm going to double check the pricing for these before I misquote myself. Bear with me a moment. Just to make sure that I get everything right. Okay. So the Roxy comics are $90 a page. Uh, again, once these sell, these are gone forever. These are the originals. You can tell by the backs. <laughs> Front, back. You can see the, some of the marker bleed and there's author notes on the back on each of these. So that's Roxy. Roxy in its entirety is available and for sale. Uh, same deal with these. Shipping is free when you buy and they will be bagged and boarded before shipping. I also have... Let me get validation really quick because I have those. <clears throat> I have one suitcase and one box full of validation comic strips, the originals, and Tiny Unicorn. But I wanted to talk about validation first because... Here we go. So the validation comic strips are also available for sale. These ones are a hundred bucks a piece. Um, I will let you know now, uh, there are, a lot of these are two to a sheet because after a point I stopped cutting these in half. <laughs> so, when, so when you buy one page, I will, depending on which one it is that you request, I will have to cut it in half, but if you want me to keep it whole, just let me know when you place the order. They are a hundred bucks a piece. They will be shipped 
uh, bagged and boarded flat. I will let you know now, one of these will not be available for sale because I'm keeping it. I'm gonna double check which number it is. Number 509, number 509 is not available for sale. Um, I would show it, but it's got some uh, validation spoilers. So we're not, we're not, I'm not gonna show that, but for, for the real ones out there, you know which one that is. <laughs> We also have the Tiny Unicorn comic strips. These are the same kind of deal. Um, after a point, I just did two to a page. These are 90 bucks a page. They will be shipped uh, flat, bagged and boarded. All of the original art that I am showing so far, the shipping is free. So when you place your order, the shipping is free. All you got to worry about is paying that upfront cost. These are originals though, so I think that's fair. Okay. There are over 500 pages of validation available for sale, just not page number 509. Everything else is available, but there's a lot. There is a lot that is available. Okay. We also have Thoughtful Dinosaur. These were the original comic strips made during the production of Thoughtful Dinosaur. There are 28 of these. And these ones, I'm going to double check the pricing here. I'm just going to, I'm actually going to bring up the campaign on my phone just to make this a little easier. You would think that since I put this campaign together, I would know all these prices off the top of my head. I want to say that these are 90. Spring cleaning. These will all be at crowdfunder.com slash spring cleaning. Link will also be in the description. Yep, the validation original art is $100 a piece. Roxy is $90 a piece. Thoughtful Dinosaur is $90 a piece. But shipping is free. They will be uh, shipped, bagged, and boarded flat. And then we have Tiny Unicorn, which we touched on. Those are also $90 a piece. Uh, Charlie and Clow, I might have misquoted the price. So the Charlie and Clow pages here are 70 a piece. So keep that in mind. Oh, Johnson and Sir. We have Johnson and Sir original pages as well. I keep these in the box. I believe seeing him is also in this same box. I'm going to double check that. Oh, I think seeing him is actually in a different box. Now that I'm looking through this. Um, yeah, we'll get there when we get there. But yes, the original Johnson and Sir pages are also available. These are 70 bucks a piece because after a point, these were just penciled and inked traditionally, then everything else was done digitally. So these are just the black and white pages. They're also kind of old. So this was back in, well, page number 85 was drawn in 2015 to give you an idea of how long it's been. So nearly a decade. Wow. <laughs> Close-ups. Johnson and Sir pages, available at $70 a piece. There are over 100 pages, or just about 100 pages, not counting cover art or prints. Let me arrange these properly. There we go. Okay. But there's 100 pages of Johnson & Sir available at 70 bucks a pop. Shipping is free. They are bagged and boarded and shipped flat. Um, these are 9 by 12s in measurements. So we'll put that away. Now I'm going to double check which box seeing him is in. I know I have it 
and they are available for sale, 70 bucks a piece. Shipping is free. They are also nine by 12s. I think I know which box it's in, one second. Found it. Forgot that it was sitting under all these original paintings. So we have all 45 pages of Seeing Him available for sale as well. These are $70 each. Shipping is free. They will be shipped uh, flat, bagged and boarded. But we have all of the pages of Seeing Him, all 45. So those are also available. Let me come up for close-ups. And there's more. And those were all drawn in back in 2015. All right, so th those were the Seeing Him pages. I'm going to put this box away. Whoops. Roxy, you're not supposed to follow the box. Your whole point is that you think outside the box, Roxy. All righty, next in the shop, we have... Ooh, we're getting into the books. Okay, we have The Legend of Jamie Roberts, Volume 1, The Misprints Editions. Now, I'm going to flip open to the specific page that is a misprint so that you have an idea of what is up with this. You see that? That right there, that's not supposed to happen. It's not supposed to split like that. Unfortunately, the first whole print run of this book has that printer error. I have, how many copies have I got left of this? It's under 20 copies. I have under 20 copies left of the first print run of this book. Everything else about it is fine. It is a perfectly readable story. There's just that one page that has the printer error. So I have it available for sale uh, for $20. You do have to pay shipping for it, but it will be shipped flat, bagged and boarded and signed. Next up, we have Gods and Spirits sketchbook art. Now, all the sketchbook art that I'm going to feature will come bagged and boarded, much like these guys. Bagged and boarded like uh, like you would original comics. So, that's not part of the stack. I have all of the original art that went into the Stars of Fantasyville. That's this stack here. So, I have all of the original art that went into the production of the Stars of Fantasy Villa sketchbook. These are $20 each because these are the original sketchbook pages. They are not prints, but they will be shipped bagged and boarded like so. Oh, um, correction. We have 31 pages because one of them I'm holding in reserve for a friend of mine. <laughs> so 31 pages of original characters from the Stars of Fantasy Villa sketchbook available, bagged and boarded. You will have to pay shipping, but they are available. So this is just, this just gives you a taste of like all of the stars that went into that art book. These are the original sketches. They are available for sale. The Gods and Spirits sketchbook art is these. Plus, we have some extras that have not been bagged and boarded yet. But when you buy, they will be bagged and boarded, much like these guys. This camera's mirrored, so it's kind of hard to tell what 
way I have to angle stuff. All right. Yes, so we have these ones ready to go. But if there is a particular sketch from Gods and Spirits, a sketchbook that you want to get the original of, I will bag and board it for you, assuming that I have it. There are some sketches that are not available for sale because they've already sold. But we do have at least over 10. I know that we have these three bagged and ready to go, but we have more sitting in the sketchbooks. So that's those. We also have demons from a art zine, a digital art zine that I did either earlier this year or sometime last year called DILFs. <laughs> demons I'd like to fool around with. <laughs> Uh, so we have some demons. I want to walk up closer. You can get some close-ups on some of these original art pieces. These are the original sketchbook pages. These are not prints. They will be bagged and boarded and shipped flat when you buy them. There are more of these guys available, but we have these ones ready to go. So. Just going to show some close ups of the other art. From Gods and Spirits, from the Stars of Fantasyville. There's so many, so many sketchbook pages. These are $20 a piece, shipped, bagged, and boarded flat etc. So that's those. Mm -hmm. We also have witches available for sale from Witches the Sketchbook. Let me pull those aside. Here we are. We have five as far as I recall, because there are some that have not been bagged and boarded yet, but we have sold quite a few of these already. So what we got is what we got. Once they're sold, they're gone forever. That goes for all the art, but especially in the case with witches, because witches was very popular. $20 a piece, shipped flat, bagged and boarded. You got to pay for shipping for the first item that you purchase. Shipping after that first item is free. So the shipping flat rate is five for everything that's not like the large comic pages. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, we have cats sketchbook art as well. I believe I have some in this stack, but I'm going to double check. Okay, not this stack, but I do have the sketchbooks that Katz's sketchbook got drawn in. So these, this is straight from the sketchbooks that I drew them in. Uh, when you buy these, they will be shipped bagged and boarded, much like all of the other sketchbook arts. But all of the cats from Katz's sketchbook are available with the exception of... I'm going to double check which date. I believe it was day 14 that got sold. Yes, it was day 14. Day 14 has been sold already. All the other days for uh, Cats the Sketchbook are available. Because I drew this during Inktober, the daily art challenge to draw every day in ink in October. Day 14 is already sold. All the other days are available. So we have this and because there were so many cats that actually had to go into two sketchbooks for this one so here's all the rest and these will be shipped uh flat bagged and boarded when you buy these oh that's a sketch for a different project but just goes to show these are actually out of my sketchbooks so 
That's Cats, the sketchbook. Those are available for sale and they will be shipped bagged and boarded like bagged and boarded like the other arts. Next, we have Dragon's sketchbook art. I may or may not have some dragons in this stack. Let me check. Because the dragons have also been very popular. Okay. I can tell you that much like Cats the sketchbook, Dragon's sketchbook art is in the original sketchbooks. One second while I get those. Oh, yep. Got some right here. Nine, 30, and can I turn the page? Oh, that's right. 31 is an entirely separate painting. So, yeah, we have, I'm going to walk up closer to the camera for close ups. And this is a different page in the sketchbook, but just to show you, these are actual sketchbooks. Actual sketchbook pages, and they will be shipped bagged and boarded flat. These are the sketchbook pages are 20 bucks a piece. Um, shipping is a separate fee. Okay. Next, we have, I already showed off witches. Aha, uh -huh. now we get into the 11 by 17 prints. These beauties right here. Now I will have to uh, come up closer to show these off because of the glare of the camera, but at least for one of them. But these are 11 by 17 prints. There's only a handful of these left, but they are available for sale. $10 each. They will be shipped bagged. Uh, flat, like all other art pieces. Coming up closer to the camera for close-ups. The Weaver. Patience. And... That's it now. Birds with Scarves. There's also a smaller version of this available for sale, but we will get to that later. Now, the camera glare is because these are the bagged and boarded display versions. But when you buy these, they will be shipped flat and bagged. So that's the 11 by 17 prints that we have available for sale. Mm -hmm. Ooh, we also have Dance Macabre. This is actually a book by friend of the channel, Sean McGavin. It is a collection of short poems and short stories, all horror fantasy themed. So if fantasy horror is your jam, this is your peanut butter. I did the cover art and helped him get this to print, which is why it's available. Um, I'm going to come up closer. Voila. $10 each. Shipping is a separate cost. Then we also have the Stars of Fantasyville, the actual like art book. This little baby right here. I'll come up closer to the camera in a second. But we have these available for $7 each. Uh, shipping is a separate fee. Just... Moving forward, shipping is a separate fee for all of the smaller ticket items. Shipping is only free for the large ticket original art pieces, like the Legend of Jamie Roberts pages, etc. The smaller items, the shipping is a separate fee. But we have the Stars of Fantasyville, and we have Roxy. Now, full disclosure, 
Roxy is in its final print run. Once these books sell out, they are gone forever. I am not doing another print run of Roxy. So nab these while you can. And the same is true for Charlie and Cloud. This is the last copy of this book I have left. Once it's sold, I'm not doing another print run. So nab this while you can. This is the last copy left that I have of this book. This is $3. Roxy is $7. Uh, Charlie and Cloud's in black and white. And I'll do close-ups here in a bit. But Charlie and Cloud's in black and white. Oh, I misspoke. Charlie and Cloud is $5. But it's in black and white. Roxy is 7 and she's in full color. All right, I'm going to come up to the camera for uh, close-ups for these books. Roxy and the Stars of Fantasyville are $7 each. There you go. And Charlie and Cloud, last copy, $5. Okay. These two final print runs. I'm not printing anymore once these sell out. So that's those. Aha. We're now moving into the keychains portion. This I'm actually going to... Uh, move everything closer to the camera, so. Mm. That also includes moving the mic. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. That's everything, so. This is so precarious. Okay. Next thing to highlight are these Macho Mujeres keychains, which I meant to pull a quarter for scale so that you could understand how big these guys are. Macho Mujeres roller derby keychain here. Now it is single sided but it does come with a protective film on the front that you can peel off. Single keychain loop. These are $5. Shipping is a separate fee. There are three of these left. So jump on them while you can. Once these sell out, they are gone forever. Next, oh, why am I working from the bottom up? This is very silly of me to do. Okay. Next keychain available are the blue dragons. The blue dragon babies. Similar sort of deal as the Roxy Macho Mujeres keychains. Uh, single sided printing, but comes with a protective film on the front that you can peel off. These ones are $4, and there's a handful of these left. But again, once they sell, they are gone forever. So nab them while you can. We also have pride keychains. One second. Oop. Okay. We also have these little pride dragon babies also available for sale. We have them in this Pride Flag iteration and in Trans Pride. Let me grab the Trans Pride ones. Okay. 
Here we are. Trans Pride keychains. Here we go. So we have them in Trans Pride and in the Philly Pride flag designs. These are going to be $4 each. There are a ton more of the Philly flag. The trans flag has only like seven left-ish. This has a bunch more. So keep that in mind. If you wanted to buy multiples, I'm not opposed. <laughs> if your budget allows for that anyway. Then we also have... There's still more. <laughs> Mm -hmm. ah, finally, from the top of the pile. Witching training pins. Now, these will come bagged when you order these. I mean, the keychains will also be bagged. These ones have just been wrapped already. But we have the witching training pins, which are about yay big in comparison to my hand. Uh, these are acrylic pins. They come with a protective film on the front that you can peel off. Rubber closure on the back. The witching training pins are $4 each. Shipping is separate. Ooh. Okay, there we go. We also have You Are Awesome pins. They're about the same size as the witching training pins. Uh, same deal, acrylic with a rubber closure on the back. They will be bagged separately. These ones are $4 a piece, not counting shipping. There's only a handful of these left, so nab them all you can. I am not doing another print run of these or of the witch and training pins. Oh. Birds in Winter, the mini print version are also available for $3 each. These will be shipped flat and bagged and boarded like all the original art pieces. There's only two of these left because they were a limited run series. So nab these while you can. Once they're sold, they're gone forever. I'm not doing another reprint. Next we have these pride pins of dragon babies. Now there's only two, three, four, five of these guys left. And once they sell, I'm not doing another print run of these. So these are $3 each, acrylic pin, rubber closure on the back, bagged separately from everything else. Once they are sold, they're gone forever. We also have them in trans pride colors. We have a few more of these ones than we do of the original Pride ones. There we go, that's better. So we have these in trans colors as well. Acrylic pins, rubber closure on the back, $3 each. And we have one more pin. We have Pim. This is a spirit from the Legend of Jamie Roberts. There are only four of this little guy left. So nab him while you can. Once he's sold, I'm not doing any more print runs of this guy. Acrylic pin, protective film on the front, clasp on the back, bagged separate, and shipped with everything else all together. $3 each. Only a handful of these left. Nab him while you can. And the last thing to highlight. Charlie and Clow, the bonus arc. If we can get the lighting to cooperate, there we are. Charlie and Clow, the bonus arc. Let's see if we can actually like make this lighting a little warmer. Yeah, that helps. So this is also in its final print run. We have quite a few of these left. So this is the stuff that happens between Charlie and Clow in the case of the Wendigo. These were originally published in my email newsletter before coming to print, but now they are in print. 
and you can get them for three dollars each because it's in black and white it will be shipped flat and signed all of these things will be available at crowdfunder.com slash spring cleaning until may 6th so you have until may 6th to place your order now this is an all or nothing campaign we've already hit our base goal so now we're just going for stretch goals what i'm hoping to do with the funding of this sale is to update some of the equipment that i have like i love my laptop but it only has one monitor i would like to get a second monitor because that would make doing live streams a whole lot easier it would make a lot of stuff a whole lot easier comics making video editing pretty much anything and everything it would be so much easier with a second monitor so I'm hoping to fundraise for that. We've hit one goal, which was a hundred dollars. I'm gonna I'm gonna double check because I don't want to misspeak. Okay. With that funding, I can get a new label printer at least. And the label printer will make shipping out online orders from the online stores so much easier. So we have hit the threshold to get a label printer, at least. If we can hit 300 in funding, that means there's the new label printer and an external hard drive so that I can back up everything. Because currently, I only have one external hard drive where I save a lot of my stuff, but I would like to get a second one to serve as backups so that I can back everything up. So that if something happens to my working external hard drive, I don't lose everything. That will happen if we can get to $300. If we can make it to $500, we can get the label printer, the external hard drive, and a second monitor. If we can get to $700, which is the pie and sky goal, then that would be a new label printer, a new external hard drive, a second monitor, and a new scanner, because I don't have a scanner anymore. My printer scanner combo broke, which is part of the reason why I'm doing the spring cleaning sale in the first place is because I'm trying to fundraise to replace the broken stuff <laughs> or just get backup material or get a second monitor. That's why I'm doing this sale. So any purchases will help towards upgrading the stuff that I have in studio. If you would like to check out the campaign, the link is also down in the description. It is running until May 6th. After May 6th, payments will process in the 48 hours after that date. So you have some time, uh, but I will let you know now, all of these are one of a kind or final print run things. Once they are sold, they are gone forever. So if there was something that you saw that you really, really wanna get, Book it while you can, especially Charlie and Clow, because I only have that one copy left. <laughs> and once it's once it's sold, I'm not doing another print run of that book. So nab any of these while you can. So more information about the spring cleaning sale will be at crowdfunder.com slash spring cleaning. If you'd like to find out more about just my work generally, you can just head to kelseydcrawford.com. Link will be down in the description. That's all for now. If you have any questions about anything that I showed off, leave them in the comments section below and I will get back to you as soon as I can. Any questions about the crowdfunding campaign, and you can also ask down in the comments and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you so much for watching. You are awesome.